You know what you're here for, and I know what I'm here for. Come on now, my king, my queen, please, please just breathe with me. I just want to tell you the video will indeed hit 10 times harder. You see that 2 fives so equals to 10? Come on now, you already feel the vibes. Now we're back in the present moment, my king, my queen. Now you, yes you. I'm not talking to anybody back there. I hope there's no one back there watching me, but hey. I'm talking to you, yes you, my king, my queen. To sit back and relax while I store this positive energy and positive content onto your female hold up. Can I get a quick, mmm, left side what? Mmm, right side. Take this positive energy. Boom. Woo, you felt that? I know you did. Now, shout out to Ross Smart right there. Now, the title of this video, y'all, the title of this video it's called focus on what you can control focus on what you can control I started to notice that too many of us including myself will tend to focus more on the things we can't control instead of the things we can control when we focus more on the things we can't control like having to wake up early for work or someone being rude or hateful towards us our whole attitude and mood begins to become negative as we focus our attention and energy on the things we cannot control However, when we focus more on the things we can control, like our attitude, our perspective, and even, the, and even how we choose to respond to people, our whole attitude and mood begins to become positive as we focus our attention and energy on things we can control. Excuse me. For instance, we can't control the fact that we have to wake up early to go to work. We can't control that. We can't. However, we can control the attitude we choose to bring to work in our perception for the day. We can control that though. For example, right? We can control our attitude by reminding ourselves that we are not entitled to having this job in the first place. And, and for that, we should be grateful to even have this job. Because we can lose this job at any given moment in time. So we have to be grateful for, so it, excuse me, so we have to be grateful that we still have it to begin with. Now also, right, well, with our perspective with our perspective right to continue from this we can also control our perspective for our day at work as well we can put things in perspective for ourselves by reminding ourselves that we are not entitled to seeing today in the first place we don't have to be alive today we are not entitled to having vision you're not entitled to see you're not entitled to see the beautiful color of this nature right here also right we are not entitled to having our ability to walk we are not entitled to having our ability, not ability, we are not entitled to having food or water. And we are not entitled to having our job, our job as well. Again, we can lose at any given moment in time. When we enter this entitlement free zone, it allows us to be grateful for the things we so often take for granted. Which furthermore allows us to get into the right perspective for the day ahead of us. Because your perspective is everything. Also, right, another example. Another good example of something we can't control is when people are rude or hateful towards us. No one likes that, but we can't really control it. We can't control what, what other people say to us. However, right? However, we can control the way we respond to their hatefulness or rudeness. For example, right? We can control the way we respond to them by thinking to ourselves, are they even worth my time and energy? Is it really worth me stop? Is it excuse me is it really worth me stooping to their level and showing hate back and I'm telling y'all right now 99.9% .9 of the time it is not and I mean it is not worth your time do not do it because one of the strongest things we can do in this world is to show love even when we even when we are showing hate hold up can I get a mmm left side what mmm right side take this positive energy boom Woo, you felt it now you didn't let me say that again for the one standing in the back one of the strongest things we can do in this world is to show love even when we are shown hate. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, y'all. Let me flip the page real quick. All right. Here we are. Now, all in all, my kings and queens, we must remember that we have to focus our attention and energy on what we can control instead of what we can not control in our lives. Now, I have one quote to help remind y'all to focus on what you can control. And that quote being, when we focus on what we can control in, in life, we'll be in control of our own happiness as well. Hold up, can I get a, mmm, left side what? Mmm, right side, take this positive energy, boom. Woo, you felt it, no you didn't. Let me say that again for the one standing in the back. 
when we focus on what we can control in life, we'll be in control of our own happiness as well. Because you gotta think about it, right? All these things we can control, our perspective, our attitude, the way we the way we respond to people, right? Those are all cores of our happiness. Well, not really the responding part, but your attitude and your perspective, dude, you can choose to have a good attitude and that can make you more happy and, and like more energetic throughout the day and have and it'll help you have a better day. In our perspective, right? That gives you the right perspective to be grateful, be like, man, I have all this stuff. I'm so grateful I have it. It will help you boost it will boost your happiness. Now, again, remember, focus on what you can control in your life. Instead of what you can't control in your life, I'm telling you, your happiness and your whole mood, your attitude, your perspective, it will go through the roof. Now, if this video brought you any type of happiness, any type of joy, motivation, inspiration, any type of like value to you guys in general, by all means, subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. But if it didn't, by all means, do not do that and find a video that does. Because I only want y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel, excuse me, if it actually brought you value and it actually helped you guys, you know? Now, thank you for accompanying. Thank you for accompanying me on my journey to inspiring one million people to be positive, mindful, grateful, and overall the best version of themselves. In my positive YouTube videos. Let me know if there's anything better I could do in my videos to, to make it a better experience for y'all down below, and let me know one thing you learned from this video as well. This is JSO Positive sign out. I love y'all so so much. Y'all have a great weekend. And hey, remember comment one thing you you are grateful for, please. And remember. You are worthy, you are kind, you are enough, my king, my queen. Don't you ever forget that. Remember, focus on what you can control instead of what you can't control. See how your life changes. I leave y'all so much. You have a great day. Peace.